It's goddamn time. Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today I'm super excited to react to 21 Savage's new album uh, I Am Better Than I Was, that was pre that's pretty much what the title says to us. Um, I should say that I uh, used to not take 21 Savage seriously, but excuse me, as soon as Bank Account came out, um, I really love that song and then since then 21 Savage grew uh, on me and also I just want to mention the dude is making a lot of progress you know we remember the projects like uh, Without Warming with Metro Boom and collaboration that was freaking fire uh, great collaboration I really love that mixtape uh, yeah, that was good also we want to uh, mention um, features he has done you know uh, particularly for example with cardi b uh the song was um body or cardi and uh you know he was he was amazing on that track i really love that track with twinman savage you know like other features here and there uh, basically he was grabbing my attention and this year oh man this last collaboration with metro Boomin again by the way uh, no all heroes were capes uh, I mean, Metro Boom. This is Metro Boomin's uh, project. Uh, Twenty One Savage is not like a main artist on that uh, project. He's just a feature on uh, part of some of the tracks, on a few tracks, like three tracks, I believe. And um, he killed them all again, once again. And I love the dude so much at this point. Um, and you, by you guys, if you haven't heard this mixtape, you should definitely check it out. One of the favorite albums. Uh, I just said mix it now saying it's an album. I think it's an album actually. One of the favorite albums of this year for me for sure. Uh, this is uh, right now I'm blasting this all the time. Honestly, this is uh, on constant repeat, uh, unhealthy amount of times so I already listened to this project. You should you should definitely check it out. Travis Scott, Sway Lee, Wayne One Savage, Whiskey, Offset, J Balvin even like <laughs> he appears on that track, Young Thug, you know, people like that definitely they did their contribution oh my god that was fucking dope <laughs> anyway so now with this album i'm i'm just super excited because like this is my first time reacting on a camera to 21 savage project so let's just go ahead and check it out 21 savage i am better than i was first reaction let's go okay track one a lot Okay. This is freaking exciting. <laughs> okay. Ah, wow. <laughs> wow. How many niggas you shot? How many times did you ride? How many niggas did die? Oh, yeah, so of course, he's still um portraying that, you know, he's savage. How many guys you shot? You know, how many times you was shot? You know. I love the sample, it's so chill, but it, you know, it's a very good sample. It's a tasteful, nice sample. I think he learned that from Metro Boomin actually. Is that Travis Scott? That's not Travis Scott, but who is this guy? <laughs> Sounds so familiar, but damn, I gotta check it. check who is this. Some niggas make millions, other niggas make memes. I'm on the money team. Why he reminds me of J. Cole, but it's not J. Cole. <laughs> so that was J. Cole. <laughs> Interesting. His approach was different than he you know you would usually do. That's why it was kind of difficult for me to identify who is this. Okay, so <laughs> because I checked who is the feature, I unfortunately now know other features, other surprise features as well, who are gonna drop on this album uh, later. Track two, Break the Law. 
And my wedding ring was a machete. Okay. Need me a Keisha like Benny. Y'all niggas wanna go rope. Killers out the six. Got them all high. Ex girlfriends. Got them all five. Don't you cross the gang, dog. We like Bob. I hear that. I'm Hollywood. I kick that out on wheel shot. Got a model and she tighter than a grill ply. Okay. Sneak and steal my throat. Lot of me rappers. That's cool. That's really cool. Is with, what's happening with the instrumental right now? Let me pop my shit. Ah. Keep big block on my hip. Hey. One up top my shit. Oh, I don't like cop my shit. Do you want? Y'all nigga got some shit. No this rapping is pretty passionate shit. on this one. It's pretty energetic, you know? It's like he's not sleeping on this track, you know? Like he's actually going for it. Which is not a rare occasion this year with 21. I didn't go to school because I was too lazy. I gotta keep up Okay, okay, interesting. The, the beginning was sort of raw, hard hitting, but I wasn't really, really feeling it. But that transition, and now this part, like it's, it's really dope, actually. AT&T, oh wait, A&T, <laughs> track three. Okay, so it's ass and T, it's A&T, okay. Who is this? I didn't I definitely didn't expect her to start rapping and have her own words on this song. So apparently her name is Young Miami. I haven't heard of her, to be honest. Okay, well, it's alright. It's not that bad. Um, I had some fun listening to this song, but it's not... Oh my god, it's, wow, that was super dope. It was alright, it was, it was okay. Alright, track 4, we have... Out for the Night. The album cover is pretty sexy though. I gotta give him that. The album cover is really good. Huh. The first three songs were actually not that bad. Um, I didn't enjoy the first two tracks. Um, the third one was alright. This one, I'm not feeling it, to be honest. But the, but the sample is pretty dope still. A lot of guitar is involved. I like that. Uh, track 5 we have Gunsmoke. I, I think it features Offset, actually. Okay, this is about to be something really special. I hope at least. But this is like intro really intrigues me. I'm a killer well, you a tadpole. Huh? Nigga, you got asthma, you don't want smoke. Who won't cancer? I'm giving out smoke. They can't make your brother do the limb bone. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, hey. Why you always rapping about gun smoke? Right. Cause bitch, I fell in love with the gun smoke. Right. Gun smoke. Gun smoke. Gun smoke. Okay. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Yeah, this track is really. It's really good actually. It hits hard, you know, it is really hard and 21 is actually growing for it. I said Offset is going to be featured, but apparently not. I think it was on the other track then. Okay, that was dope. Track 6, we have 1.5. Reminds me of lo-fi hip-hop beat actually, especially the beginning. Yeah, this goes stronger now, like track 4 was a sort of a little bit decline. And then we're going up again in the Astro World <laughs> uh, roller coaster. <laughs> Okay, Offset is here now. Okay, 
Wait, did he say I fucked your kids? Wait, I gotta check that. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Oh, I fuck no kiss. Okay. I thought he said I fuck kids. <laughs> Alright, keep going. We have uh, track seven. All my friends coming up. Post Malone. I actually like him on this track, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan when it comes to Post Malone, but of course I would be dumb <laughs> if I said he's a bad artist, you know? Okay, okay, okay. This is tight. And this is really different for 21. Ah. Hey. I feel like this is gonna be a hit. This one's gonna be a single from this album. Damn, Post Malone. Post Malone's contribution is pretty intense. He's going in. <laughs> It really reminds me of uh, that beat drop. Uh, it reminds me of the na na congratulations. Uh, it's really a similar uh, beat and drop, it, like this. F f the same formula is implemented on this track, which I I don't really care about. It. Just I'm just noticing that. Okay, we have um, track eight. Can't live without it. Ooh, ooh. I like I like the beat already. Damn, this is gonna be this is getting serious. This got dark real quick. Oh yes please. Yes bitch. And this is a feature by Wait, who is in here? Yeah, yeah this This song, I'm adding this to the playlist for sure the Last one too, of course But this, bro This is what I like This kind of sounds Oh shit, oh little Baby, okay, little Baby and I saw Ghana Okay, that's cool Huh. Yeah, this beat is so nice And also so chill When there is like this uh, Japanese sort of implementations like uh, we remember Travis Scott Yosemite we remember uh, I just I had one song in my mind uh, but mask off of course you know like this Japanese sort of Japanese roots like it's just in this beats like I love them so much it's it's amazing it sounds fantastic all right we have track nine ASMR I heard that there's gonna be a lot of whispering on this one because it's titled ASMR, you know, just like he did on uh, Don't Come Out of the House song uh, by Metro Boomin and 21 Savage. Um, I love that song and I actually think that uh, that was freaking creative and awesome. Uh, some people didn't like that uh, whispering implementation onto the track. I loved it a lot, so uh, we'll see how it, this one goes. Hey, Metro Boom is producing this one. Okay, okay, okay. He already like sort of uh, gained that Metro Boom flow. You know, like when Twenty One Savage is on Metro Boom track, he sound kind of different. Like he sound uh, refreshing. He sound more um, better. Like he just sounds so savage he sounds so good on the on metro boomin's um production and uh, this is no different he's already like his all whole album he was doing some different things i mean of course essential to 21 savage flow but like as soon as metro boomin came back again it's like still all in the that metro boomin wave kind of flow more
Both sides of the gun, I done dealt and felt the pain. Hey. Drive by now, we the walk up gang. I come from the six where they chalk up. Say it one more time, twin. Ah, then he didn't. Okay. <laughs> Hey. We were still in car. You was inside the house. I know he gonna be a rat one day right now. We call him a mouse. Ooh. I got some strikes. I'm my nigga shite. Okay. You can roll the dice. Just D one drop. Nah, it's D one mic. I didn't get a lot. Okay, cool. He didn't do it for a long time, but it was enough. It was enough. Don't go big on me. You might get hit with this man. Hello, nigga. That shit for the whole. I never snitch on my enemy or my bro. Bro, uh, the quality of the tracks, the last three tracks were freaking dope. Um, I think the reason I wasn't feeling the album very much in the first five songs, although I, I did say they are good, I mean, I, I mean it, but like these are easily much better than what was presented um, in the first five, six tracks. Um, yeah, I, he delivered, bro, like this. This kind of 21 Savage, I wanted, like, with Post Malone, it was something different, something 21 Savage wouldn't do, you wouldn't hop on the, those kind of tracks, at least from what I've heard of. Um, and also, the the last track with Little Baby and Ghana was a killer, it was fucking fantastic, the, dro uh, the, the beat was so amazing, I really loved that track, and this one, and with Metro Boomin production, uh, they guys, like, these guys, um, you know, may created a magic moment time. So now um, I'm wondering, you know, and I'm hoping that this trend is going to continue. Uh, I'm already hyped to like much more. I'm feeling the album finally, you know, like because I wasn't really feeling as you saw from my reactions. I did some uh, banging heads here and there in the, uh, in the first track, but like this, I felt the most like this last tr three tracks. So uh, let's see where the album takes us next. Track 10, we have Ball Without You. Okay, yes. Bring it on. I feel like this is gonna feature somebody for sure. Somebody suitable for this kind of beat. Okay, this seems like a uh, intimate personal track so I said at the beginning that there's gonna be a feature now I'm not expecting a feature because it doesn't feel appropriate with the lyrical content mm. no there is a feature actually or This wasn't a feature. <laughs> this was 21 Savage trying to sing, and this is sort of a bad result that came out because uh, out of it. I, 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 let's just continue listening. Yeah, that was really tr him trying to sing. <laughs> he was sounding like a dying goose, but it's okay. It's all right, I guess. So the track was good. The track was actually legit, uh, fantastic. <laughs> well, not fantastic, fantastic, but it was really actually on point. Um, we got some vulnerable Twenty One Savage reflecting on the past. Track eleven, good day. Uh, let me check who is this <laughs> because I have one name in particular on my mind right now, but I'm not sure if I'm right. Oh, okay, that's Schoolboy Q. I actually had a different name, I had Challenge Gambino for some reason, but this is Schoolboy Q. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is Schoolboy Q for sure. <laughs> now I'm hearing clearly. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine having 21 Savage in the same song with Schoolboy Q. For me, it's like two different worlds, but they are clashing into each other. It's, it's nice. Yeah, of course, to make it work, the 
make the sound work, he needed uh, a person like Schoolboy Q. You know, because Schoolboy Q raps on this kind of psychedelic, very dark. Schoolboy Q definitely like fits in this kind of tracks. So what is what I'm trying to say? Well, as I said, like for now, I actually don't know what to think about that song. I don't even know. Did I like it? Did I not like it? <laughs> it's hard to tell, to be honest, from this first listen. It's, that track was goddamn weird. But it can be a grower for sure. Kill, track 12, Padlock. This track is nice. I like this track a lot. It's it's chill. You know, it's not something crazy. And I, I wanted to have something like this after the last track because it had put me into sort of weird energy but then now this is relaxed energy with and 21 Savage can really shine on this kind of um, production yeah, I like that definitely Yeah, another song uh, worth your time, for sure. This one, Padlock, was really good. All right, we have track 13, Monster. I gotta say though, the instrumentals are pretty nice on this album. They never failed. And this one might be top five in terms of instrumentals already because that piano, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, I was waiting for this child you can be in this feature. Okay. Right. It's been a long time since Gambin a rap like this to be honest. track actually I really enjoyed that one track 14 letter to my mama interesting to think about like what what's gonna be the reaction of her of his mother <laughs> like when she will discover that oh damn like you sold weed you know like he gives this sort of um revelations and um she's sort of kind of saying sorry in this manner all right the last track we have 4l the beat, the beat is awesome. Oh. Alright. I like this. I like this flow. It's different. Another feature? So apparently this rapper's name is Young Nadi. He wasn't bad. He, is, he delivered. I like this track too, actually. I like this track. I feel like the whole second half of the album is better than the first one. Second half is really dope, actually. Oh yeah, that was 21 Savage. I am better than I was. Um, this album is solid. Um, it's not bad. It's not mind blowing or anything like that. It's not like 9 out of 10 or 10 out of 10. Listen, for me, this is uh, more like 6 out of 10. Um, I 
did like a lot of tracks i did um i definitely i'm definitely coming back to this project i'm gonna listen to this project uh, and i feel like uh this album can grow on me more actually um so this sort of six out of ten is not even um like a final um rating because to be honest i know myself <laughs> when i rate things i usually you know agree with myself later too but there were occasions where oh actually no i disagree with that and i feel like 21 savage like six out of ten it can grow on me more maybe it can become a seven for example out of ten you know with with a proper with a proper listen uh with headphones for example or listening banging sort of these tracks uh you know um in the car that that's completely different experiences and until I try that, I cannot actually give you an opinion on this album particularly because with this style of rap, when they rely on catchiness, if you cannot catch it at first, it doesn't mean that you will not catch it later. It's called catchy for a reason, you know, you might not like it at first, but then you fucking love it <laughs> after listening to it a couple more times. I'll, I'll just be careful with that 6 out of 10 rating for now. But um, the second half of the album is good. The first album, uh, the first half of the album is not bad either. It's just in quality um, and I, I got a little bit less satisfaction. Um, and the first half excited me a little bit less than the second half. But overall, not a bad project. Definitely not a bad project. Um, there are some good highlights. I'll be coming back to this album. I can see myself listening to this for for a month, uh, for example, for sure. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll see what's gonna happen from next. Um, this is my last album review. I won't be doing uh, album reviews this year. From now on, we're gonna see. Uh, bad albums of 2018, bad songs of 2018, bad songs of 2018. Uh, ratings like that, uh, the lists like that. Uh, music, best music, music videos, uh, best albums of 2018. I'm I'm preparing them. They are ready almost. Um, the bad albums. Um, I hope it's already dropped. That video is dropped already um, by this point. Please check it out. Uh, I really had a blast. Um, my energy was much better, to be honest, on that video than this one. In this one, kind of, I actually came uh, from um, a party, um, it, but not like a like a teenager party or something. But it's a more um, work party. They call it Christmas party, but it's like a corporate Christmas party. I'm working right now, like I have a job in uh, in, uh, in an office. You know, I just uh, I started working in my dad's office like two weeks ago, and I uh, got myself familiar with uh, other uh, members of this office. You know, uh, with the crew basically, and now I know them much more um, out of because of this party. It was really awesome. We had an amazing time. But I'm, I'm I I came back pretty tired, <laughs> so sorry for for the low energy. But you know, the album the album was not bad. The album uh, delivered pretty much. Queen uh, was savage, not a bad job. Uh, I like the project. Um, for now, I'll be giving it a six out of ten. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Goodbye.